miraculously, I just let the car do its thing, and for some reason, the fuel gauge works now. <laughs> Congratulations to Matthew from Arizona. It's about to go on the trailer. Sorry, it's really windy today. This car has gotten so much love, dude. I need to actually put this amount of effort into my Lexus. <laughs> so good. This is a big 18-wheeler, bro. Here we are, boys. Sheesh. Got a McLaren coming down. Damn, I think I need one of these now. buddy you were a pain but man we loved you so good <laughs> this thing's pretty cool bro I'm not gonna lie I think I still like my AMG a lot more but that's nice so this is a pretty cool thing. I didn't I didn't film this because I didn't know the kid, but whenever that McLaren was out, there's a kid that drove by, rolled down the window to take some pictures. He was such a huge car guy. He just graduated middle school. He was going into ninth grade, and he was like, I love it, I love it, I love it. And I was like, what do you, what kind of cars do you like? And he said he liked supercars and exotics and stuff like that. I was like, well, I have an AMG GTS. You want to come check it out? He's like, yeah, yeah. And so I gave him a ride, and uh, I think he loved it. <laughs> I hope he loved it, but uh, that's so fun. He didn't know who I was because he mostly follows like supercar stuff. Anyways, I'm glad I was able to get you, give you a ride the car. I always feel like if I was ever presented that opportunity when I was young, I would have, I mean, that would have made my entire life. I'm happy to say that I'm able to do that for people at this point in life. Before we get moving today on this video, we have a word from our sponsors. Last month, I told you guys a little bit about Allform. Allform is the sister company of Helix Sleep, which is the incredibly comfortable bed that we have. Oh, look, we got a little, we got a little rocker back here for our baby. Anyways, Allform makes completely modular couches, fully customized. Hello. Fully customizable from end to end. You have corner pieces. You have as many of these pieces as you want. I mean, you could make a couch as long as this house. Yeah, you like it, don't you, buddy? The nice thing is these are stain and scratch resistant, which is great because I spilled coffee on this the other day right here, and you can't tell. And also, we've got pets, and we're about to have a baby. So it's perfect. From whatever fabric you want to the legs and everything, it's fully customizable. It's all made in America, too. And just for y'all's information, ours is the seven-seat corner sectional with the charcoal fabric right here, and it even is as detailed as you can, you know, you can go down here. We got espresso legs kind of hard to see but super customizable I mean it's like a car but it's a couch the other cool thing is it's all online you don't got to go to a store to do anything you order it online it gets shipped to your house for free and it's super easy no tools required for assembly if you don't like it in a hundred days you can send it back which you're not gonna want to send it back but you can send it back and you can get all of your money back they cover shipping and everything it's nuts if you go to allform.com slash Evan Shanks I can get you guys 20% off any sofa of your choice. Anyways, thanks to Allform for sponsoring. Let's get on to the video. So, the last step on this car is to install the wing. Last night, I picked it up. Here's some footage from that. Oh, nice. Okay. Putting that chip part that was chipped, I fixed it. All right. Ah, here it is. Oh, it's so good, dude. Oh, man. That looks amazing. Yeah, I was trying to find some uh, hardware so to fit those things where they sit flush. But the kind he had were like too big. So ah. Oh, is this the one that she she made these? Yeah, she actually, your wife four. stitched these? Oh, that is so awesome. Dude, Victoria's gonna freak out. <laughs> oh, wow. Dude. <laughs> Tell your wife I said thank you so much. That is so awesome. Oh, Victoria's gonna cry. <laughs> That's amazing. Prior Design did not send us mounting hardware. <laughs> I don't know why. We don't have hardware. The wing is beautiful though. And by the way, I'm keeping, this is, this is, I got some shelf, some more shelves for the back so I was like running out of space. I'm gonna keep this and make like a little makeshift paint booth so we can Spray Bertha over there. I've got to find some hardware that works for this. I don't know what the word is, but uh, I'm trying to remember it. I'm brain farting right now, but uh, the recessed hardware that, does, that goes into there, I've got to get a bunch of bolts. I'm going to see what thread pattern they are, and then buy one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Countersunk, that's what it's called. So I need basically this bolt right here, twelve of these, 
but countersunk. Hopefully I can find some. If not, it's gonna be ugly and I don't want it to be ugly. Let's hop in the, the, the sweat, wagmobile and get some hardware. You guys wanna see something really annoying? Dude. Whoever put this lip on last didn't put it on right. Came off. It's scraped away. Oh my god, dude. That sucks. Not what I wanted to do in the hottest parking lot ever. Ah, that sucks, but Jose thinks he can salvage it, so. Oh, that's so upsetting, dude. He worked so hard on this. Every day. Every day's got a new adventure, guys. <laughs> well, that is certainly not how I wanted this install, this <laughs> beginning of today to go. Definitely scraped down a lot of this. I've got it kind of on right now, but it needs to be, uh, it's gonna have to be taken off because a lot of that got scraped off and Jose wants to fix it. So Jose will come and fix it because he's the man. I don't know, I guess they just didn't install it correctly or put enough bolts back on, but like, yeah, it just like, I don't know, whatever, doesn't matter. Now I wanna go ahead and start doing the wing install. I had to buy some huge zip ties to get my under tray from not scraping all the way back home. And then I also had to buy a small screwdriver just while I was at the store so I could uh, get the lip off. 94 cents a piece doesn't seem like a lot, but Man, these hardware stores really get you, because that adds up when you need 12. I'm gonna use some Loctite on it, because that's the last thing I want coming off, is this beautifully crafted carbon fiber wing to come off. Whee! All right. I would like to say this should be a pretty simple install. All I gotta do is get this little T27 in there, and they're coming out. And by the way, for those of you vlogging or want to get into vlogging, guys, I'm using my phone. I use my phone for a lot of stuff. This camera's okay, but it's beat to hell. But guys, don't don't blame not having the gear for not doing the work. That's it, right there. Oh, wow. So it's not gonna be as easy as I thought. All of this actually comes out and I'm supposed to Use those holes? Really? Really? I was really hoping that it would still stay on there and go up and down, but I guess they... I guess they said, nah, chief. This is interesting. I've never seen this before. So this is the motor that goes up and down, makes the wing go up and down. I'm assuming I'll probably just take that out. Whenever we do the, the real, <laughs> the big boy end game conversion for this car, um, I won't need that anyways. That's just weight that I don't need, I guess. What is that? I guess, oh, oh, yeah. So all of this can come out. That's probably a couple pounds, not that it really matters, but uh, <laughs> That's gonna be a couple eight millimeters and uh, it should be pretty fairly simple to remove. There we go. Now, because they didn't include any hardware and I thought it bolted to the original wing, I gotta find something that fits on this. Thankfully, the amount of M6 uh, <laughs> bolts, bolts lying around are plentiful because I've built so many Japanese cars over the years. So I, I'll put this back on, plug the lights and stuff back in. I might keep these in there just in case, whomst ever, if I ever sell it, give it away, something like that. Somebody has the choice of putting it back to stock. So I'll keep the stock stuff in there. I'm gonna need two hands for this. Actually, I need like five, but I only have two, so here we go. It's on. 
I'm gonna be 100, 100 with you guys right now. I'm a little bummed that it doesn't adapt to the stock like wing risers and stuff. Now, the carbon air kit that I'm gonna end up doing, the full send, like the final stage of this car, it's gonna have a, like a, a solid wing too, so it doesn't really matter because I'm gonna change it anyways. It looks good, I'm just a little bummed. I really thought that that ducktail was gonna be able to go up and down. We have got to use some griots. I'm gonna use some ceramic speed shine. Jose, when he does his carbon fiber, he always clear coats it, but it's not. Uh, it's probably not sealed yet. I also might take it back to get dipped and have them just wrap the sides, possibly back there, but I think it looks pretty good. I'm gonna tell you guys this one more time. You guys can use code Shanks at Griot's Garage. By the way, the ceramic speed shine does work on on satin, so it's really nice. It's a fast way to get a hydrophobic coat on your car, and you can use my code, Shanks at Griot's Garage, and save 10% with your purchase. It's good stuff. I wouldn't tell you about it if it wasn't good. In the light, it looks good. Oh, wow. Oh, look at that carbon. It's like an optical illusion. It's just so good. The twill. Mm. Damn, son. That's nice. God dang. That's a fat booty. That's a fat booty. Dude, I do want to say a big thank you to Jose. Um, Jose has gotten such a quick turnaround and he's done such a good job on a lot of the stuff. I don't know if you guys remember, but this body kit showed up to my door completely cracked ruined. It didn't have any tips, like those tips came off. Uh, the other side skirt was broken in half. Like this side skirt right here was broken in half and you can't even tell. So he did the body work, he did all the carbon work himself. If you missed anything, you can go back and check it out. One of the coolest dailies I could ever ask for, that is for sure. It really just makes it. You That's like great. it? Oh yeah. I'm still indecisive. It looks really good. So the one thing that kind of sucks is it doesn't go up and down anymore. No, nope. I really don't know what came over me and why I decided to go ahead and go over this next go with this next kit But um, I think having the kit show up broken kind of killed it a little bit for me Even though it looks really good. Um, I said screw it the wheels that were gonna get made for this car or for this body uh, I went ahead and changed the specs for the other one. So I mean dude this car looks this car looks so good Pull up guys. I just turned it around and I don't know if it's just the different lighting, but I can't, I can't stop looking at it. I'm really happy. I'm a little distracted and upset about what happened earlier, but damn. And this lighting, it's crazy. Sorry, it's windy, oh my God. Whew. Let me know what you guys think. To be honest, I don't really care because it's my car and I'm really happy with how it turned out. God dang. With the body kit, the wrap, the wheel, I mean, it's like, this. Though, even the changing wheel color, the tune, the way it drives, it's just so nice, bro. Man, 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 so awesome. Sheesh. Are you guys tired of hearing sheesh? <laughs> I am, but it's funny. I'm just curious. Would you guys rather see the Evo finished, for the Evo 3 finished, not the Evo 8, uh, or the IS300? Which one would you, would you rather see me work on next? Hopefully, uh, the constant fight of flooding uh, should be over pretty soon. I should be able to actually have some time to work on cars again. Um, and I'm just curious. The IS300 I started a long time ago and I've just gotten caught up with other builds since. And I would love to work on it. Um, I've also would love to work on the, on the Evo 3. They both need a bunch of fab stuff done to it. So um, just let me know. I would love to hear what you guys think. In the meantime, boys, heck it. We gonna murder out the Bertha. <laughs> you like this, dude? You guys like this? Next episode, I'll probably have it done. It's still drying. It's gonna be like a nice matte satin black. Still got all the uh, OSHA labels on it, so we're good. Probably a little couple, a couple more touch-ups. That's the end of the vlog, boys. That's the end of the vlog. I always end with daily advice, and my daily advice for you guys is something you can ponder, you can think about, something you, you can improve yourself on. Don't be upset at results you don't see from work you didn't do. It's so easy to look at somebody and be like, damn, look what he's got. Like, why isn't my life like that? Or, man, like, I've worked for blah, 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 and I don't have that yet. Usually, your life is a product of how much effort you are putting into it, period. Now, at times, it takes some longer than others, it takes some quicker than others. Everybody's going different speeds and driving in different lanes. As long as you're doing your best and going your own pace and your own lane, you're gonna get to the destination someday. But don't compare yourselves because that's the thief of joy. And stop wondering why you're not getting the results 
for work that you're not doing. Take that how you need to, but it's an important encouragement today. You guys have an amazing day. I'm out. Deuce. Hey, I got two videos for you guys to watch. Make sure for one, you're subscribed and notifications are on. And two, uh, just make sure you watch those two videos. Helps me out a lot if you keep watching the channel.